I'm just not a big fan of the Republicans or the Democrats right now, if I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't feel like either side represents me. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people think that. For me, you know, like uh, with the left, there's just uh, too much concern about the most easily outraged members of society, right? You can take anything too far, including empathy. I don't wanna, you know, just uh, marginalize anybody. I also don't wanna walk on eggshells in this weird, tense, puckered up society where everyone's worried about saying the wrong thing because that's a great way to suck the joy out of life for everyone. <laughs> and on the right, there's just too much religious thinking for me. Don't like religion and politics, never will, for one very simple reason. Right, for me, the reason is no one can ever agree on what Sky Daddy wants. just all over the place, that's the problem. Like just with Christianity, there's over 45,000 different denominations of just this one religion in the world today. Over 45,000 different groups of people who think another 45,000 plus different groups of people reading the same book, worshiping the same God, are fricking it up a little bit. <laughs> and that doesn't include the rogue outliers, just random dudes in their cabins around the world who think they're the only one who gets it. I'm so sorry no one else understands your glory, Lord. I wish more people could get it, like my landlord and my ex-wife, if they could cut me some f***ing slack. I don't have a job because I'm focusing on your glory. Basing laws on religious thinking, like you might as well just base laws on which rooster wins in a cockfight. It's absurd. And if you don't like that because maybe you, uh, you know, are a religious person, you don't think that's fair, uh, well, would you like it if we had a politician who was not necessarily religious, but spiritual, who channeled the spirit world to make major decisions? Because <laughs> for me, it's the same kind of thing. I don't think many people would be comfortable with that. Some politician coming out and being like, all right, everybody, we're, uh, we're going to war with Russia. I know that's a big decision. And at first I was against it. But last night, I held a seance. And I was able to channel the spirits of George Washington and Julius Caesar and some guy named Todd. <laughs> and Julius and George and Todd told me to push that fucking button, so here we are. <laughs> and I know some people will be offended by that comparison. They're like, you just presented an extreme example. And most people who are religious are moderate in their beliefs. That doesn't make me feel better. Like moderate versus extreme in that spectrum. To me, that's like saying like, hey man, I don't appreciate you questioning my decision-making abilities. I don't make all my decisions while I'm high on crack. I smoke crack on Easter and Christmas. And the rest of the year, I just kind of think about hitting that pipe. I do understand that anyone who didn't care for my first analogy didn't like that second. Except that.